Ms. Davis, you say you and your grandmother are in desperate need of assistance in raising your one-month-old son, Josiah, and you need the defendant, Mr. Means, to accept his responsibility. You both believe the only reason Mr. Means is denying your child is because of his fiance. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Means, you claim you were never in a relationship with Ms. Davis and that during the window of conception, she had multiple sexual partners. You state Ms. Davis is trying to pin her baby on you because she knows you are a good man and is jealous. Is yes, that correct? Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Davis, tell me why it's so difficult for you raising your baby. I am 19 years old. He is 10 years years older than me. I did not make this baby on my own, and I shouldn't have to take care of him on my own. My grandmother should not have to pick up the slack and handle his side of the work. He needs to help out. Mr. Means, you haven't been helping out? Well, I'm here today. I know I'm not the father of her own, her son, and I was not the only one that, that, that she was sleeping with. You were having sex with her? Yeah, I did. Unprotected? Yes, ma'am. During the window of conception? <laughs> having three times. You only had sex three times? Three times. But was it during the window of conception? Yes, yes it was, yes, yes, wow. yes. It was. So how is it you can exclude yourself from being a possible father? What I know he's not mine, and out of, out of six, seven friends and had her two, the same time I had her. On and off, on and off. I didn't want to go there, I didn't want to disrespect you like that, because your, grandma, your grandmother right there, I tried to be a grown man about it, but you coming at me crazy and my fiance like that, so I'm gonna let you have it. That's how I know six, seven months later, she hit my fiance up saying that she got a baby by me and all this and that. So I'm like, how? Ms. Davis, were you also having sex with his friends? That is not true. And it wasn't just a three time, hit it and quit it. He was actually staying at my house. He was eating there, sleeping there. He, he yes. was living with you? Basically. Yes, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. And, and your grandmother? Yes. yes. <laughs> my house. No, not, not sleeping no. with her. Yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> not sleeping with her, but she was in the house. Her room is right next to me. I did not mean that. I meant was oh. he living with you and your grandmother. Yes, yes Your Honor. Yes. yes. Get your minds out the gutter. <laughs> Were you living with them, Mr. Means? Absolutely not. The only time I went there when I wanted sex, and that was it. And she knew that. She knew Your that. Your Honor, he is lying. She that is not that. true. You were she having sex with a girl that's 10 years younger than you in her grandmother's house? And she let me do it. Classy. So you all are having the sexual relationship. You say it was more than three times. Yes, Your Honor. How long did this relationship last? About three months. Three months? Yes, Your Honor. And he would stay in the house with you and your grandmother? Yes, Your Honor. I was, I was not the only man that had to go in there. It was three other people. There, no, no, Come there on, was now. not you three other people. There was not. Now, she's the time that I can see... No, the time that I can see... Hold on, you were in my house. Anyway. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Were there other men coming not in and out of the house? Not at the time that I conceived. No, there was not. And there was only one other gentleman, but he wasn't coming at that time. Grandma, I have to ask, why was she in the bed with him in your house? I felt it was safer for her being there than in the street. And so you want you you said it was okay for her to have sex there, than to be out in the street having it. Yes, Your Honor. Your Honor, well, I have proof of, con of conception. I would like to, to see that. That's the exhibit. Is that what yes. you'd like to show me? Okay, let's do it. Let's see the board. I had sex with Mr. Means in August, September, October. This is the day, this is the month that I conceived in October. My son was born 6-21-2016, and that means it leads back to October, the, the month that I conceived. And during that month, I was only with Mr. Means. Can I, can I, Your Honor, how is that possible when she left Jersey and was gone for like six, seven months with her boyfriend at the time? No, no, when that, I left oh, Jersey, when I left New Jersey, oh, I was two months pregnant, and yes, I did get back with my boyfriend. He accepted the fact that it was possible that I had another baby no, with someone no, else. Mr. Means, is there something on that exhibit you'd like to refute? Do you do I don't mind? Would you like to challenge something on the board? <laughs> that's a no, that's a no, that's a no, that's a no. <laughs> okay. Come on now, baby girl. You talking about two men, you got three, four other people you need no, to bring up in here. No, that is not here. true. That's not play me like that. So Nobody hold on. You put an X like on every month. And you put an X on June. I Is the X for June. not having sex Yo. or the sex for extra sex? 
<laughs> well, I put the answers for her ex. She, she, she wasn't having sex with me. Oh, you're I saying she was having for, sex for with her ex. Her ex. Yeah. Her ex kept going back and forth, keep going back and forth, back and forth. And then, and then and think about it, it's not just about her ex, it's other people. Other than me, too. Yana, that is Stop not trying true. to act like and you, you like that. You know you so too, tiny. But you were with you know other people, so too. Hold on. I was with no, my no, ex no, twice in September, no, okay? No, but that's not a, the time that I can see. Listen, I got my fiance and my family. Oh, but you, but I, she has I, nothing I, to do with this. You know First of all, you wasn't even with her. Let's calm down. Let's calm down. Let's calm down. Your testimony is, Mr. Means, that during all of these months, she was also having sex with her ex. Yes, she are. Do you have proof of that? I definitely have proof. He moved, he, he moved up to Georgia with them. Is back that and proof? forth, back and forth. You got yeah, every, pictures, no, messages no, of no, it? Every me time saying y'all that... got into it, you called me and told me. Come on, now. Come on, don't even try and play me. Okay, don't but I have proof of you, too. I have proof right. of you, too. Uh, well, luckily for this courtroom, since I'm trying to get down to the truth, that ex is here today, and I will oh, hear from yes. him shortly. Exactly. Woo. Yeah, get okay. him in here. Yeah, get exactly. Here. You will. Get him in here. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. When you find out you're pregnant, do you call Mr. Means immediately? Yes, I did. And I told him that I was pregnant and he didn't want nothing to do with it. Mr. Means? She don't have no proof with that. How I found out my fiance right here. I, Your Honor, I, I have here. text messages yeah. of Mr. Means she just doing telling that me, because I'm calling me his father, baby mother, and, she, and just, saying that he's a, uh, a bad baby father because he couldn't make it to the hospital, and telling people that he's my baby father. So if you had any doubts that this is not your baby, you why would you? Yeah, I got that. Let messages. Let me see that. You like to see them? Yes. Okay. I'll, you stay back there. I'll Jerome go. will get them. Thank you. Miss mm -hmm. Davis, you're saying these are text messages on Facebook. On Facebook. Okay, so this is from Jonathan M. Means. What's up, baby mama? You don't love me no more or something? Of course I do, Ms. Davis says. Why you say that? Then Mr. Means says, I don't know. I just don't feel loved by you anymore. And then you, uh, you say, you know I love you. Oh, oh I, I can explain that. Why you say that? I, I, I can explain <laughs> that. I can explain that. I can explain that. <laughs> Let, one minute. more Let page, that. sir. All right. Ms. Davis says, I'm in the hospital having contractions and I'm already two centimeters dilated. You about to have that baby, Monty. I'm hurt now. That's just you talking. Ms. Davis responds, I don't know. They trying to stop my contractions. Then Mr. Means, your response is, I'm sorry, Monty, that I'm not there. Shake my head. I'm a sorry baby father. Now, that's how I'm feeling right now. Did you send these texts? Yep, and there's a reason why I send it, too. <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah, I'll be honest with you. I ain't, I'll be honest with you. What's the reason? What's the reason why? Because at first, and I did at first, had a possibility of thinking of mine, but after people telling me and what I was seeing, how she is, I knew they wasn't my child. But let, let's also get back. Let, let's, but, but let's also get back to the I only slept with her three times and I wasn't in a relationship with her. Yeah, she knew that. Was, but, she so why me. are you telling her you love her? Who, just talking? Mm -hmm. Just talking. She already knew the deal was. You told me I love never you loved you. You already knew the deal. I never loved you. I only hit you up when I wanted some sex. You're lying. You already Mr. Means. Know. You Mr. Know. Means. Mr. Okay. Means. Okay. Mr. Means. No. Why so, why but, but, lying, but Mr. Means. Yeah. Let's, let's, because your fiance's right there. Mr. Means. Lie for her. <laughs> let's get some order. Let's get some order. Don't be mad at her. Be mad at yourself. You the one said it. Just, just, just accept that you said it. I don't stand there, but she ain't gonna sit there and talk to my fiance. I said it. What's your doubt? Say it. Be that's honest, it's her ex-boyfriend, baby, and that's dead. Okay. That's all I got to say Well, we're going to see. I'm not about to argue with her about that. So, okay. wait. I'd like to now hear from this ex. Jerome, would you please escort Mr. Pittman into the courtroom? Sure. Okay. Watch your step. Hello, Mr. Pittman. Good morning. Thank you for joining us today. Ms. Davis has testified and made us aware that you are her ex. And there seems to be some speculation that you also are a potential father. Do you believe you could potentially be Josiah's biological father? Um, no, ma'am, Yana. Um, I don't feel I'm the potential father only because Imani was seeing Mr. Means at the time. We got back together. She made me fully aware that she had a relation or whatever they had and that he made, might have made a mistake and got her pregnant. That was it. But were you also sleeping with Ms. Davis during the window of time where she conceived? It was kind of on and off, Your Honor. It wasn't 
It was maybe once a week, something like that. So there is a possibility. Your Honor, I was intimate with him, but it was not, again, it was not around the time of my conception. Mr. Pittman, were you intimate with Ms. Davis in the month of October of 2015? I don't really remember exactly when it, what month it was. You don't. But it was definitely after she told me she was uh, pregnant with Mr. Means or whoever. She was seeing other guys. It wasn't just him. Exactly. I was not seeing exactly. other yeah. guys during my conception. My man. Yet my an- man. Yet- <laughs> my man. I got you. That is yet <laughs> another piece of testimony that supports Mr. Means' theory. And how do you know that she was also intimate with other guys besides Mr. Means? Me and Imani got back into a relationship after her and Mr. Means stopped seeing each other. And she let me know everything. She was honest. And she said, you know, hey, DeAndre, I have been seeing Mr. Means and two other guys as well. I never told you I was seeing two other guys. Are you serious? Kiana, that's what she told me. I'm not going to argue with this woman. Whatever. Okay. I ain't mad at you, brother. The bottom line Whatever. is... <laughs> no comment. Moving on. Mr. Means, I would like to hear from your witness. <clears throat> Ma'am, please stand. State your name from the court. Yes, LaShonda Stranero. You are Mr. Means' fiance. Yes, that is correct, Your Honor. I'd like to know if you feel... He is this child's biological father. No, I do not, Your Honor. You do not? No. Why? For the simple fact that she had multiple partners. Like, you can't just put a baby on one particular person if you have more than one partner, sexual partner. Right, and let me ask you this, because you make a good point. Do you still feel like we can exclude Mr. Means, or is it that you believe he is one of the possible fathers? One of the possible. You do. Yes. You weren't even in the picture Listen, when I little was... little girl. Pre- okay, and what are you gonna like, do? Actually... You should've kept your legs Excuse cold. me, who are you? Who are you? Stay your legs. Stay your foot. Ladies, you keep I'm your okay, legs closed. I'm gonna be one thing. Ma'am, 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 But the truth is, she's admitting that he could possibly be your child's father. And you are 19 years old now. Yes. What are you hoping for today? I know what it's like to not have a father in your life, and I don't want my son to go through that. And you're taking care of this child by yourself? Yes, with my grandmother's help. Excuse me, Yana. Yes, Mr. Pittman, yes. I just want to kind of say, like, on that comment that she just made in a respectful manner that, yes, her grandmother is the care provider for this baby, 100%. But, you know, when I was there... Imani is not trying to work. She's not trying to do anything to provide... I am in school! Are you serious? What were you doing? What are you doing? You were living off of me in my house! You never had a job! All right, you my best friend. You want to make you look stupid? That's what you're trying to do? Listen. It's not working. Listen. Listen. Babe, you got to calm down on the rage, okay? You got to bring it down. I'm sorry, Your Honor. Yes, Mr. Means. I'm glad you said that because Imani... I told my fiancé about everything. I never said nothing bad about you. I just want to... Come here to see it take my kid. Whatever. But you wasn't saying that yes. You wasn't Ms. saying that this morning. You were talking about not marrying her Ms. if she don't understand. Not marrying, that's what you I said. said that. I Ms. swear to God. Ms. 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 I'm not talking to you. I'm not talking to you. I was right there. I don't care. Do you want want the results or you want to go home? I want results. This picture to me is so off balance, it disturbs me. You got a child, a teenager and a senior citizen standing across the aisle, a grown man, 20-something years old, that admits he's sleeping with this teenager. Mr. Means, what do you expect? It's no sense of getting all worked up and getting your fiancé all worked up. You the one lay down with her. (laughs) Did you really expect she would respond in a mature manner? No. You came for results. Let's get them. Jerome, I'm ready for the envelope. Ma'am, take a seat. Okay. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Davis versus Means, when it comes to one-month-old Josiah Davis, it has been determined by this court, Mr. Pittman, you are not the father. In the case of Davis versus Means, when it comes to one-month-old Josiah Davis, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Means, 
you are the father. Kick ass now. Sorry. I can tell by your reaction that was not the news you wanted to hear. It is what it is. I just want to see my son. Good. Have you ever seen him? Never seen him. Never held him. Never been around him. Don't even really know his name. Don't even know nothing about him. That's Never sad. Missed. And he's yours. And he needs his dad. <sighs> and this is his mother. Miss Davis, Mr. Means says he just would love to see his son. Is that okay with you? Yes, Your Honor. Good. Ms. Young, you and your daughter are here in court today to prove that your deceased common-law husband, Johnny Wallace, did not cheat on you with Ms. Terrell and father her daughter, Ms. Patton. Yes, Your Honor. You say once the results prove he is not Ms. Patton's father, you will sue to recoup all of the Social Security benefits from Ms. Patton that she wrongfully received after his death, totaling over $12,000. Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Terrell, you say Mr. Wallace never denied your daughter, but it was you who chose to separate your daughter from Mr. Wallace's crazy lifestyle. You claim that once the DNA test proves you right, you want your daughter, Ms. Patton, to be accepted by the Wallace family. Is that correct? Yes. So, Ms. Young, when did you first find out about Ms. Patton as one of Mr. Wallace's children? Your Honor... The jury is still out on that one. I never found out. All I know is that I've, I've known him since I was a teenager. We lived together. He's my daughter's father. And I never knew of Kaisha being his daughter and still don't till this day. I found out when uh, my kids started getting Social Security and then a few months after that, I got a letter from Social Security indicating that someone was applying for Kaisha Social Security for her father also. That's when I got my first knowledge that he was supposed to be her father. So, Ms. Terrell, you say that Mr. Wallace acknowledged your daughter? Yes. And his family? Yes. Me and Mr. Wallace was going with each other. We was together every day. We would go out. Did you know he was in a relationship with Ms. Young? Well, he had other baby mamas. He was with, around with all of them. So, Miss Patton, what was your relationship like with your alleged father, Mr. Wallace? I didn't have a relationship with him. I saw him. I had a conversation with him. And that was pretty much it. When you say you didn't have a relationship, he was not a part of your life? Not consistently, no. And you say you had a conversation with him? Yes. Just one? Yes. In your lifetime? Yes. What was that conversation about? His mom picked me up. She said, little girl, I'm gonna take you to see your daddy today. I just sat there. We got to a house, nice big house, and we walked in. When we walked in, there were stairs, um, an entertainment center. Um, when you go around a bend, it was a kitchen. We went and sat in the kitchen. I just sat there. And she like, you okay? Why are you so quiet? I said, I don't know what to expect. How old are you now? I was about eight, nine. And so most. you sat there. Young. He came in the kitchen. He looked at me. And then he talked to my grandmother. And then he came back to me. He said, hey, little girl. I said, hey. He said, you know who I am? And I said, I, I guess. And he's like, what does that mean? I said, I guess. He said, you pretty. I said, thank you. And my grandmother, she said, tell her. And he like, just stood there. And he like, I'm your daddy. I said, are you? And it kind of went back and forth. And he was like, well, I'll talk to you later. I gotta go. And he took care of some other stuff around the house, and then he shortly left after that. He left the house? Mm-hmm. And you were still there? Yes. That encounter, and, and the way you remember it is... It's amazing, actually. Just a, yeah. a young girl, eight years old, having that kind of encounter. You're right. Did you ever hear about Miss Patton? Yes. And you did? Yes. What did you hear? One day, Mom said, you know Kaisha's supposed to be your sister. 
And I was like, yeah, right. You know, thought she was playing. She was like, no, for real. She's supposed to be your sister. So I called my daddy on the phone no. and um, I said, you need to come here right now. I need to talk to you. And he came right away. And um, I said, Kaisha's supposed to be my sister. And he said, no, she's not your sister. And I said, well, that's what my said. He said, what did I tell you? <laughs> he said, you think I wouldn't have her around you and your brothers? And then me and him never talked about it again. Were you told that this was definitely your father or that this may be your father? I was told he was supposed to be my father. In the moment when you met him and you had that conversation, and of course you're only eight or nine, so you're a young girl, did you get the sense that he knew you were his daughter and was acknowledging that or that he questioned whether or not you were his daughter? It was so much back and forth. I just wanted to be a kid. And in trying to be a child, I was tormented by them. How? Well, he say your daddy, but we don't know. Or my thing is, at 35, I'm still living. 10 years old, 12 years old. As a child, I would play with Tamika. From my knowledge, her grandmother raised her too. So maybe that's why you, her mother did not know or did not have the knowledge, maybe because she wasn't there to raise her child. I don't know. I know of Miss Young. I don't know her, just as she doesn't know me. And you're saying, as a young girl, you would be picked up and you would do things with Miss Stapleton? No. As if, yes. As if you were sisters? Yes. And so, Miss Stapleton, you remember these encounters? I remember hanging out with Kaisha, yes. As we, your we, we would hang out together. She would come over, we would play. Um, after my told me that she was supposed to be my sister, my daddy told me she wasn't my sister. It was just like, I made up in my mind that, I mean, I wanted to play with her anyway. I wanted to, you know, be friends with her. It was, I like, you know, I like hanging out with her. What While was... you playing, you're just doing things girls do, yeah. files and whatever. In yes. your mind, you're looking at her okay, saying, is this my oh, sister oh, or is yes, this Yes, there's always been a question. Just like she said, he stood there and said, you're supposed to be. Nobody really knows for certain, but I accepted it at a certain point in my life that that's what we were. And now, do you believe she's your biological sister? I don't know if she's my biological sister. Miss Terrell? Yes. Oh, man. Is Mr. Wallace's name <laughs> listed on your daughter, Miss Patton's no, it's birth not. certificate? No, it's not. Nowhere on there? No. Oh. Okay. Is anybody on the birth certificate? No. As listed as father? No. So, Mr. Girl, Wallace, was he no. aware when you that. were pregnant no. with Miss Patton? Huh? That this was yeah, his he child? Was a, he was aware. I was a virgin when I first met oh. Johnny Wallace. Me and him used to hang out. He used to come to my mother's house. I used to go to his grandmother's house. Ma'am, that was Okay, my okay, listen. Treat. What I'm trying to find out is when you found out you were pregnant, do you say to him, I'm pregnant? No, his sister already told him. If she went to the family and told him that she was pregnant, he gave her money to have an abortion, and she did away with the money however she see fit. Okay, now, but, but Ms. he Hold didn't on, know I was Young, pregnant, but then you said. That argument was suggest that he... he is her oh, biological yes. father. Okay, that was after the fact I heard. Like I told you, the jury still out on that. I don't know who her daddy is. Judge. And now apparently she don't either. So, Miss Patton, you ended up being entitled to Social Security benefits after Mr. Wallace's death. Mm. You're saying his family accepted you. Yes. And so you were listed as one of his children and I, obviously I just received benefits <laughs> yes, ma after his death. My great-grandmother said that, that when they called her and asked her, did she know anything about Kaisha and could she be the daughter? She said, I know Kaisha. Johnny said he gave her mother money at one point to get an abortion, and she think that they went shopping with the money. Okay. I wasn't there, but that's what she said. Yeah, she told either. Social Security. In, in a situation <laughs> like that, as law, if there is a question of paternity, then a paternity test would need to be taken, correct? No. Before mm -hmm. they disperse government funds... Not back then. ...to... It is my understanding that when they called your great-grandmother or whomever this family member was, mm -hmm. whatever information they elicited mm -hmm. led them to the belief mm -hmm. that you 
were entitled. Mm -hmm. Now, since none of us were on that conversation, mm -hmm. we don't know exactly what was said. Mm -hmm. But it, of course, to me, seems interesting. He's not on your birth certificate. Mm -hmm. There is question amongst the family as to whether or not you are or are not his biological child. Mm -hmm. And yet, you are still collected. Mm -hmm. you, you collected. And so, somewhere along the line, someone gave that caseworker mm -hmm. a very strong feeling that you yes, were, in fact, mm -hmm. his biological because child. They don't it, go Probably maybe. because, as we just heard in this courtroom, via testimony between you, Ms. Patton, and Ms. Stapleton, you all testify to the same things. Mm -hmm. That you all were carted around and raised at least at some point in time like you were sisters. No. Yes, ma'am. So, ultimately, okay. Ms. Stapleton and Ms. Young, as you stated in your court papers, this Social Security that they've collected has in some way affected the benefit you believe you're entitled to? Well, if proven that she's not his child, she's not entitled to his Social Security. She has questions in her heart. I have questions in mine. Absolutely. They we don't, just want to know. Claim That's her. it. They don't claim it. Ma'am. And so, Miss Stapleton, you were very close to your father. Yes, Your Honor. Go ahead. I was. Um, my father was really um, hands-on with us. He was around every day, took me to school, picked me up from school. He was a part of me and my brother's life. We was always together. The man that I knew wouldn't deny any of his kids. I just want to and... know if... I have, I have a, a question. Will she shut up? Please do not disrespect me no more. And I will not ask you again. Who's she talking to? You. Girl, boo. <laughs> do what you do. However... I mean, she's talking about... Ladies, ladies. Ladies. Miss Young... Ladies, ma'am, please. Ma you need to calm down. Miss Young claimed she never knew about me. I was never accepted. I got mm -hmm. on a flight to Savannah, Georgia with Miss Stapleton to come and get her. If you didn't know me, if you didn't accept me, why? I can understand Miss Stapleton. She just want to know. Just like everybody else, just want to know. But all the extra drama, when you have, can, you have known about me and you've chose to accept me, depending on the day and the way the wind blow, now it's a problem. When Please. you've been to my house, just like I've been to yours, so... You you coming sideways? Why? I'm not and, understanding and, and her I, motive. I'm not I understanding understand, her. I point. understand and I feel your confusion. That's why this courtroom exists because you are not the only family that is wrestling with a level of dysfunction or confusion with a paternity claim. That's why we're here because it leads to this: two beautiful young girls that grew up together, playing together, are now standing on opposite sides of the aisle trying to answer questions that really adults should have answered for them long ago. Mm -hmm. yeah. But... That's the beauty of what I get to do every day here, is I get to provide the answers that people <clears throat> so desperately need, and I have the answers for you. Thank you. You're on the envelope. Thank you, Jesus. Jerome, we've got a lot of passion in this courtroom today. Yes, we do. Please stand in between yep. plaintiffs and defendants <laughs> and make sure we act like the beautiful ladies we are. Mm -hmm. All the time. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. Because we were unable to collect DNA from Mr. Wallace, we have not performed a paternity test between either young woman and Mr. Wallace. What we were able to do is to collect samples from each woman to determine if, in fact, they are related. So, as I read these results, keep in mind that they are based on the presumption mm -hmm. that Miss Stapleton is, in fact, Mr. Wallace's biological child. Right. In the case of Young versus Stapleton Patton, pertaining to... Kaisha Patton. It has been determined by this court. Ms. Patton and Ms. Stapleton, you 
are not related. Oh. Huh? I already knew it. Miss Stapleton, are you okay? I see you yeah. overcome with emotion. What are you oh, feeling? I just feel like we should have known this a long time ago. Yeah. <sighs> they should have cared enough as adults to make sure that we had accurate information we... a long time ago. Miss Patton, how are you feeling now? A little relieved. I just don't have to go through it no more. <laughs> and now I can move forward with my life. Miss Terrell, I have to ask you. Is there another man that could potentially no. be Miss Patton's no, it's father? No, right, because I was a virgin at the time. No. And you were never with any other man never. besides Mr. Wallace? No, I started seeing someone afterward, and I took a maternity test downtown. No, he was not the father. Is it possible but maybe you forgot or overlooked no. someone? No, no. So now listen, no. the DNA has proven that they don't share a father. They don't. But it doesn't necessarily preclude mm -hmm. Mr. Wallace from being Miss Patton's father if he's not Miss Stapleton's <laughs> biological father. Yes, Your Honor. Are you certain, beyond a shadow of a doubt? Yes, ma'am. I am a thousand percent certain that Johnny Wallace is Tamika Stapleton's biological father. Mr. McElroy, you are here today because you say the laws of space and time dictate that it would have been impossible for you to have fathered your ex-girlfriend's six-month-old baby, Roger. You've not only brought your own mother as a witness, but you've also brought the defendant's mother to help you prove your case. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Zagami, you say you know for a fact that Mr. McElroy fathered your son no matter what your mother says. You state Mr. McElroy is the only man you slept with during the time of conception, and you intend to prove paternity today. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. So, Mr. McElroy, why do you say it's impossible that you're baby Roger's father? Well, Your Honor, we were in a different state, in all honesty. She was in Texas while uh, the date's conceived that the doctor told me. Um, and everybody says that he doesn't look like me. My, friend, my friends, my family, and her family have told me to get a paternity test. And I don't oh. believe I'm the father because of that. So you believe during the window of time Roger was conceived, you all were in two different states. Completely different states. Iowa, Texas, multiple different states apart. All right, so, Ms. Zagami, I mean, this is, uh, pretty strong allegations here. How does the denial make you feel? I mean, that is his son. There could be no possible way, because I didn't sleep with my ex. I see how emotional you are. That's his baby. Oh. And, it, and it hurts you because... <laughs> Everybody denies him. I mean, I went to my ex's around Christmas and everybody's like, tell us the truth, tell us the truth, and it's bad, it looks bad on me, and I'm tired of it. Because that is his son. <laughs> and now Mr. McElroy, his mother, and your mother are all saying that this is not Mr. McElroy's baby. It is. So, Mr. McElroy, how did we get here? What, what happened? Well... We started dating in Texas, and we moved up to be with my mom. And things were going awesome, and then she wanted to go to Texas, but it, I found it kind of weird she wanted to go to Texas right before Valentine's Day. She left on February 11th, and uh, she came back on the 18th. And, like, everybody remembers it being a week. No, I you didn't. actually submitted a timeline to the court. You may step up no. to the monitor. This is Mejgan's conception timeline. February 11th, she leaves for Texas, which is kind of weird because we just got in a fight and she left to go see some family, which is okay because I had no reason to doubt her at that point. We were doing really solid in our relationship. She comes back February 18th. Everything's acting... She's just weird. Everything's changed. We're not... We went from having sex every day to, like, three times every two weeks. So, let me ask you this. Was her ex in Texas? Yes, her ex lives in Texas. Ah! But on February 27th, we found out that she was pregnant, 
which is also weird because after a uh, surgery, we were told that there was literally no chance of having a baby whatsoever, not a chance. Okay. So the window of conception is 12 to the 14th, which is kind of weird because she was in Texas. I was in Iowa. Those are the dates. So she was those in Texas. are the dates she was in Texas where her ex is. Yes. That's problematic. <laughs> A little bit. You may step back to the podium. I mean, when those numbers come up, you just go, uh, bingo. Um, there's paternity doubt. Yeah. And everybody says he doesn't look like me. He looks like his sister who doesn't look like her mother. And I'm just, I'm, I'm sick of it. I, re I really am, and everybody's filling me with doubt. At first, I didn't doubt it at all, because I was so excited, and it was, I mean, I was there for three days with him. I was there through his first shots, and, you know, the snip. <laughs> and so did you sign the birth certificate? I did. Yeah, I was so proud, and I named him after my grandpa, Roger Lyle. All right. So, Mom, Miss Havel, you're of the opinion that this is not your son's biological child. Just because of the time frame is the only reason I have questioned it the whole time. I don't believe either of them have ever questioned. I, I believe that I and Lisa have been a little bit more persistent in the questioning of the paternity of the baby. And when you say Lisa, that is? Meja's mother. So, Ms. Zagami. Yes, Your Honor. You also are doubtful that Roger is Mr. McElroy's child. No, it looks he looks nothing like Jordan. Does he look like the ex? Yes. So Ms. Havel? Well, they were th the question of doubt comes from the fact that they were constantly breaking up. Yes. They were together, then they were apart, then they were together, then they were yeah, I mean, just constantly fighting and yeah. <clears throat> And then the last time that Jordan went to Texas, I even had called Lisa to have her go check and make sure that Jordan wasn't in Texas because we as parents were tired of the oil and water. So as mothers, you were concerned about the instability of the relationship and the fact that it seemed like these two young people couldn't figure it out, weren't getting along, breaking up, making up, mm -hmm. and logically you're thinking, and what's going on in between time? Exactly. So, Mr. McElroy, when, how do you find out that Ms. Yagami saw her ex when she was in Texas? Well, I called her mom, Your Honor. So what did her mother tell you? Her mother told me that they were running around for a little bit. Oh. oh. So, Ms. Shigami, you spilled the beans that your daughter was out running around with her ex for a while. She told me that she was with her ex. Yes, Your Honor. So, do you think your daughter would actually cheat on Mr. McElroy? No, Your Honor. I trust Meji 100%. I love her from the bottom of my heart. But I just it's... know when you're mad, <clears throat> when you get upset or something, you might do something stupid. <laughs> I know it's really hard for me to see my own daughter go through this. So, Ms. Zegami, I, I have to ask you, did you just slip up and do something you later regret and you just haven't had the courage to admit it? Were you intimate with your ex while you were in Texas? No, Your Honor. See, the thing is, I might have went through that with my ex, but his mom was there. What am I gonna do in five minutes of being around his mom, you know? Speaking of your ex's mother, she submitted a statement. Yes, Your Honor. It reads, I believe my son is Roger's dad. The week Mejgan was here, she came and picked him up. Mejgan said, her and my son didn't sleep together, but I don't believe her. The biggest mistake they made was trying to reconcile their relationship. It only caused more problems and now a baby. That's a statement from the mother of 
Ms. Zagami's ex? Your Honor. So I'm going to remind you that you are in court now. Your ex's mother has sent a statement to this court indicating she believes Roger is her grandchild. The person that wrote that around Christmas time, I saw her. She said, please tell me the truth. Please tell me the truth. They look alike. They look alike. And I promise you that my son is not my ex's. So your ex's mom, your mom, and Mr. McElroy's mom all have it wrong? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. McElroy, you don't seem to be buying this. I'm, I'm really trying to get to the bottom of this, though, because I really don't believe he's my son because of the conception dates. You know, really, you were in Texas when the conception date was going on. So... You had the dates wrong. No, the doctor, we have them on okay. paper. But you were in Texas. The dates are wrong. You know I left on the 12th at nighttime. Then how does everybody And else we had say sex that you were on the 17th of February. Remember when we were drunk? For a week? You were there for a week, though. Whatever. You're telling people a whole week, and this is what you put in your yeah. head. 11 to the 18th. Okay, so those dates that you chose out? You were still there the 12th. Okay. Your Honor, um, my conception date has changed multiple times with the doctor. So I had my surgery on the 17th. They said that's the last period. So from that conception date, they were like, okay, your due date is October 23rd. But when I went in, they said it was like eight weeks and some odd days. They said, no, you're measuring at six weeks. So they changed it to Valentine's Day was my conception date. But you were gone then. Yeah. It doesn't matter which date. Like, you were gone to Texas within the vicinity. What you're saying confirms this outline of dates. Yes, but it also changed again to when I would be due November 11th. So I don't know what day that would be for my conception date. Uh, right before she left, she told me I wasn't the father of the baby. She told you that? Yeah. yeah. What happened? Wait, what? Well, you yelled at me one time. We were sitting there arguing, and you're like, you know what, don't worry about the kids. You're not the father. Oh. I, she said she said that to piss me off, and, you know, half of me believes her, half of, her, half of me doesn't, you know? Did you say that, Ms. Zagami? Yes, Your Honor. Well, there we have it. Can't go back after that one. So, Roger, six months old, precious little boy, what do you want now? It sounds like you all have had a very tumultuous relationship. I just want my family. Can you tell the court what it means to have your family? I, I devote my life to these children. I, I became a father when I met her other child, not when he was born. And what that means to me <laughs> is I'm always going to be around for her because I know that her dad won't. And I know that my dad wasn't, so I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to let that happen to another child. I may not be the best father, but I'm doing the best I can at 22. This sounds like a scene from Happy TV. But if it was all happy, we wouldn't be here. Right. And if it all didn't matter, and the world was just gonna be perfect whether we know or we didn't, then we wouldn't be here with right. three mothers saying, I doubt that this is Mr. McElroy's child. I mean, you may be a stand-up guy, but you're still a human being. That's going to affect anybody. Well, I have pictures of Jordan when he was Roger's age right now. And so this is a picture of Mr. McElroy when he's a baby? Yes. On the left? Yes. And Roger on the right? At about the same age, yes. And you feel like you see no resemblance? Blonde hair, blue eyes, dark hair, dark eyes, different nose, different lips. No, I don't see any physical. Sounds like mom. Yes. I would agree. I do have very dominant features. I think my son looks just like me. But I do see resemblance. I see the lips. But the thing is, I have the opposite. 
thought that she has. I think the lips and the nose look just like, just the eyes. I have very strong eyes. But your own mother says when she looks at the baby, she sees your ex. <laughs> Isn't that right? Yes. Well, <laughs> I don't think there's anything left to be said. I don't need to hear any more testimony. It's time for us to get the truth. Jerome, may I be envelope? <laughs> These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of McElroy versus Zegami, when it comes to six-month-old Roger McElroy, it has been determined by this court. Mr. McElroy, you are the father. How does it feel to know Mr. McElroy? It just feels like a million pounds. It was relieved off my shoulders, and I, I just, I love my family so much. <laughs>